Besides being the sixth largest country in the world, Australia has so many impressive discoveries that make it one of the world's most popular tourist destinations. Like this seven-story hotel that floats on water. And, of course, we have a waterfall that flows horizontally. But first, let's look at this skull of what looks like an alien-human hybrid. Number 15. Bizarre Skull When you look at this image, what comes to your mind? Is it an artifact from an ancient civilization that is still unknown? Or is it just an art piece of a xenomorph alien from the Alien movie franchise? Whatever it is, one thing is clear. It has the usual features of a human skull, save for its elongated head and some bizarre pattern on its bone. Skulls with an elongated head aren't anything new here on Earth. There are discoveries around the world that have proved just how alien our ancestors were. Skull elongation was a widespread ancient phenomenon, and this leaves us with many questions as to whether this could be an alien-human hybrid or an art piece that merges a human skull and that of a xenomorph. Well, be it a skull or an art piece, it seems it was of much value to humanity, that upon its discovery in Australia, it has been mounted and put on display in the country's museum for all of us to marvel at. Skulls have been used by 17th century artists to depict just how temporary life is, and even modern artists continue to use them to express different messages. So what are your thoughts about this skull? Number 14. The Longest Fence in the World Australia is a country of wonders, and one thing that you can marvel at in this country is the largest fence in the world. The Dingo Fence, which is a wire barrier that spans 5,600 kilometers across Australia's vast landscape, remains the world's largest fence. The Dingo Fence goes from Queensland all the way to the southern Australian coastline. The Dingo Fence was first built in 1885 and took five years to complete. Its original purpose was to keep rabbits from the crop areas to help farmers increase yields but it later collapsed. In the early 1900s, the fence was repaired and the land repurposed for sheep rearing. This time around, the fence was to serve one sole purpose, and that's to keep the sheep safe from the hungry dingoes. Maintaining this fence is an expensive endeavor for the Australian government, considering a total of about $8 million goes to repairing this fence every year. Though the dingo fence has been in existence for many years, it has become controversial even as conservationists claim it's harmful to the ecosystem and that it should be demolished. Number 13. Gnomesville Want to spend some time with gnomes and witness their thriving community? Well, Gnomesville in the Ferguson Valley, Australia is the place to be. This place is home to about 5,000 thriving gnomes, which are actively engaged in various activities around the gardens. You'll find some fishing, others playing cricket, some hopping on a bus, and some have formed an amazing rock band to give you amusing entertainment. Well, as you can tell, there's something for everyone, and just about anybody can find Gnomesville an interesting place to be. In fact, Gnomesville is now a massive tourist attraction site, attracting visitors from all over the world who add to the community. It is said that the community started with one gnome, and slowly the number grew massively to create the current community of over 5,000 gnomes. One thing you need to know is that though gnomes are magical creatures that are known to bring good luck to residents, they can result in a bad omen to any visitor who decides to carry one home from Gnomesville. Number 12. Floating Hotel like I told you, Australia is indeed the land of wonders, and sure enough, it was the first country to surprise the world with a floating hotel. The Hotel Hagem Gang was the brainchild of Australian developer Doug Tarker and his son Peter. Sadly, not many people nowadays know about the floating hotel, which has been docked for decades in North Queensland before it was moved to North Korea. This massive engineering marvel was designed by Swedish engineer Sten Sjostrand and officially opened to the public in 1988 as the John Brewer Floating Hotel. The seven-story hotel featured amazing amenities that would get you wishing to stay even more. There are 200 rooms, a nightclub, bars, a restaurant, a helipad, and a tennis court. The hotel was indeed a magnificent sight and attracted many tourists and visitors who enjoyed the luxury and the ambiance of the cruise. But sadly, the guests decided to avoid it because it was risky to stay in the hotel, especially during bad weather. With guests not checking in, the cost of running the hotel became too high, and the owners sold it to Vietnam where it operated for some years before being sold again to North Korea. It is North Korea where the floating hotel was dismantled earlier in 2022 after it was criticized for not meeting North Korean standards. Number 11. Mari Man if you've ever cruised the South Australian skyline, you probably have seen this huge geoglyph. The Mari Man, or Stewart's Giant as it's commonly known, was discovered in 1998 by a pilot flying above it. But to date, even scientists can't explain what it is. 
The Maori man is clearly visible from space and appears to depict an indigenous Australian man hunting with a boomerang or stick. The figure is 2.7 kilometers tall with a perimeter of 28 kilometers, extending over an area of about 2.5 square kilometers. How a group of people came together to create this long line drawing of an aboriginal hunter without being seen is the biggest puzzle. Number 10. Floating Forest The best way to discard an old ship is to release it to the ocean to form artificial coral reefs. But it turns out that the shipwreck abandoned in the ocean can also turn into a beautiful lush flora that can attract tourists after many decades. Now, this is the case with the SS Airfield that was once used to transport coal, oil, and water during World War II. This steamship, which now looks like a carefully crafted art installation, was decommissioned in 1972 after 60 years of service, and was left to decay at Homebush Bay in Sydney along with other ships. But as time went by, nature has taken over, and now mangrove trees have grown on the ship's decaying hull, creating beautiful sight for tourists in what has come to be known as the Floating Forest. Number 9. Tessellated Pavement Another marvelous thing you'll love in Australia is this natural earth's pavement. You might want to think that someone carefully crafted this, but for sure all this beauty is a creation of nature. This tiled-like appearance of the rock is a rare natural occurrence in Tasmania that has become a popular tourist spot in the world. Research reveals that this unique rock formation occurred after sediments that accumulated in low-lying areas got compacted and lithified to form solid siltstone, which eventually started to crack and fracture due to pressure from human activities. Number 8. Underground Mining Town if you think you've seen it all, then wait until you visit this remote South Australian town of Kupapiti. This town, which got its name from the Aboriginal words Kupapiti, meaning whitefella hole, is full of unmarked holes dug by eager whitefellas. People live underground because the temperatures here are very extreme. Kupapiti town was founded by a small, bored teen named Willie, who after being left behind by his parents, discovered opals in the area. This led to intense mining activities in the area, where several holes were dug in the ground. Today, the area remains calm, like nothing is happening, but underground lies an active town with homes that are well furnished and have electricity as well as internet access. Pretty amazing to say the least. Number 7. The Oldest Known Aboriginal Rock Painting I'm not sure if you can recognize the subject in this painting. Well, this is Australia's oldest known rock painting of a kangaroo. The painting, which is said to be 17,300 years old, was discovered in Kimberley, Western Australia. The artwork measures 2 meters long and was painted in red ochre on the ceiling of a rock shelter. Nobody knows who created the artwork, and the mystery behind it still lingers in the minds of geologists. But above all, this painting remains an important part of Australian history. Number 6. Wave Rock if you thought the only place you can catch a wave is the ocean, then probably you need to visit Australia. This is the popular wave rock. And contrary to what you might want to think, it's a natural rock formation that's shaped like a breaking ocean wave. This 15-meter-high, 110-meter-long rock formation is located 3 kilometers east of the small town of Haydn. The wave rock dates 2.63 billion years old and began forming during the Cretaceous period over 100 million years ago, when Australia broke away from Antarctica. The wave rock has become a popular tourist destination, recording over 100,000 visitors each year. Looks like a nice place to visit, right? Number 5. The Horizontal Falls Looking at these falls, I'm pretty sure you're like, this is impossible, right? But believe me though, these wonders exist. And one of the most spectacular things you're likely to see in Australia is this horizontal waterfall named the Horries. This unusual natural attraction is located on the coast of the Kimberley region in Western Australia as part of Talbot Bay. A horizontal waterfall forms when seawater rushes through two short and narrow gorges which are about 300 meters apart, creating a waterfall that can be as high as 13 feet. Well, if you're daring enough, you can ride your boat between the gaps and experience one of the greatest wonders of the natural world. Number 4. Prison Tree When you look at this giant baobab tree, all looks fine until you start digging into its history. And indeed, this tree has a unique history. Located 6 kilometers south of Derby, this baobab tree, which has a girth of 14 meters and a hollow trunk, served as a prison to hold indigenous Australian prisoners on their way to Derby for sentencing back in the late 19th century. Today, the boab tree is a spectacular sight, protected by a wooden fence and acts as a symbol of the harsh treatment of prisoners in the late 19th and early 20th centuries. Number 3. Bull's Pyramid 
Finding a pyramid in the middle of the ocean is probably the last thing you'd expect. But that's exactly what you find when you visit the Howe Island Marine Park in Australia, where the Bull's Pyramid is located. This pyramid in the ocean was discovered in 1788 and juts about 560 meters out of the Pacific Ocean. It measures 1,100 meters in length and 300 meters across, which makes it the tallest volcano stack in the world. The most amazing thing is that the Bull's Pyramid has a thriving life of the rarest insect in the world. Number 2. Shell Beach While most people visit the beach for the beauty of the crystal white sand, a visit to Shell Beach in the Shark Bay region of Western Australia proves a different case. Here, the beach is covered with billions of tiny seashells up to 10 meters, covering over 70 kilometers of the shore. The shells formed naturally due to the salinity of the water and the favorable climate around the area which allowed them to proliferate and multiply fast. Quite a nice place to spend your vacation, so to speak. Number 1. Devil's Marbles these rocks are not just your ordinary rocks. By looking at how they are arranged and balancing on top of each other without falling, you can tell there is something magical about them. And sure enough, the Devil's Marbles are culturally and spiritually significant to the locals who refer to them as Kalu Kalu. Today, the Devil's Marbles, which are located in the Northern Territory of Australia, is a protected conservation reserve that prides itself as one of the oldest religious sites in the world. It spans 4,500 acres and houses hundreds of rounded rocks, some as large as 20 feet in diameter while others are smaller than one foot. The rounded stones look impressive in the morning and evening light when their red colors are highlighted in the sun. It's no wonder the Devil's Marbles are a great tourist attraction site. Thanks for watching.